If you lived through the 80s, you were lucky enough to witness the birth of legendary metal band Detention, once dubbed the greatest metal band of all time by founder and bass player Brock Rockets. In the 80s, they were on top of the world. After the release of The Bell Has Rung, they were unstoppable. Kids' birthday parties, funerals, school lunches, you name it, they played it. Easily a couple of dozen crazed fans at every show. Let's ring that bell one more time and report to detention. I had some part-time jobs. Nothing that, nothing that, that satisfied the denival mojo, though. Then all of a sudden, I'm, 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 I'm in high school. I'm looking for work. I see a poster for Justin's Renaissance. I asked this kid, what's this about? What's this renaissance about? And he says, it's about achievement and purpose and all the good things in life that drive a guy, you know? And I'm teaching him how to rock! Like that, man, right here, you know what I mean? That's where I'm at now, I'm focused. I know what's in my, my rear view, I know what's in the horizon. And that's to get my bandmates back together and rock like we used to. And in conclusion, don't look at me in the face. None of you. And I thought there was a real opportunity for me to be part of the band and bring them what they needed, the percussion. But actually, they needed some funding. So what I became was one of the band's funders, not founders. As the band started to fall apart, I started to focus all my attention on CBI Global and perfecting the sound, perfecting the perfect metal that would really, really cure the fever. We've got time for one more question. Do any of you have any questions? What? There's a Mr. Rage to see Oops. Dusty. Animal. We're, we're getting the band back together, you in or not. I'm in. We roll. Whatever I'm doing, it really has to matter. And um, I really enjoy being a cook, you know. I think that food is quite a bit like music. Uh, as any proper musician will tell you, you know, it's very important to experiment with various flavors in a musical kitchen. And I think what Detention has always tried to do is come up with that perfect flavor for all the dinner tables across the world, you know. And I think that um, when Johnny asks his mom, Oi, what's for dinner? She tells him, Detention Johnny, ask what's for dinner. And uh, probably for lunch as well, because I've heard that a little bit of detention goes a very long way. Wait a minute. You hear that? You recognize that sound? It's hitting the denim. I know it. Yeah. We're getting the guys back together. And I mean, one trip right here to make a difference, make it matter, man. Contemplation, it was such an epic album. One song taking up 67 minutes. The entire album was one song. The band let me do a two minute bass solo playing with a chicken's foot. I don't think that's ever been done. It was a live chicken, which made it very difficult. Guaranteed to last through gale force winds, um, perhaps even hurricane winds, for my line of Beauty by Brock. Yeah, I'd just like to take a little bit off the top this time. Off the top? Off the top. Okay. Thankfully, I had another avenue of creativity um, in the hairdressing field. I guess I got the right place. Denimo, how are you? Brock, what's shaking, man? Good to see you. Throw this in your hopper. We're getting the band back together. It's a hard one to pass up. Let me check Miss Hedge, Joe. Well, I've got a four o'clock chest waxing with Charlie Nelson. Good Lord, that will take forever. Let's do it. After detention broke up, I had to get out of the spotlight for a while. So I started this little farm. No one man alone can handle 129 fans on Facebook, you know. Back in 1986, I hopped on with another little Irish band, toured a little while, but never felt that I really quite fit in. I've been writing a lot of songs on me banjo for the animals. Well, 
Raj and I have been hanging out quite a bit. He even does some handiwork for me. Does some work around the farm. It's kind of nice because we get to practice our music together still. Playing guitar and thinking about who I really admire uh, and who I'd like to play on stage with, it would probably be myself. But you know, that's almost impossible to do. So I keep practicing my licks just a little bit so that uh, just in case we ever go back on the road again, I'd be ready. Still not quite uh, what we thought it'd be. Not quite what we always dreamed of, you know, but. Well, it's not, like being, uh, it's not like being on the road, you know. Get the band back together. I'd like to know if you guys are in. Yeah!